right, let's go now to the Taj Mahal. I'm quite impressed, if I'm wanting to tell the truth, because when I drove past this the first time around, it, it uh, didn't look like much from the inside. I'm from the outside, sorry. And also the, the buildings, at least when I was driving by it, looked like they were kind of run down. But now as I get closer to the actual structure itself, it's not that bad. It's still pretty uh, kept well intact. So all of me are peacocks. They're created on the side of the streets. And I, I have seen multiple live peacocks. Like right there. See, right there is a peacock, right there. I see them running around. It's a cute little peacock. I've never saw him before. I wonder what I have to do to aggravate it so that it's going to stretch his, uh, his wings out as a sign of intimidation. Should I do that? Nah. I don't want to do that. I'm not that, uh, that obnoxious. Taj Mahal. Here I come. So picturesque. You see the the mountains in the background. Rainforest in the background. Taj Mahal right there. <laughs> Uh, I don't ever recall seeing uh, rainforest find a Taj Mahal ever in any of my adventures, so. Let's pause here for a sec. It's a great shot. On a bridge to the entrance of the Taj Mahal or Taj Mahal Jr. as they, they call it here in Colombia. So, I'm looking at my surroundings and all this lush green landscape is uh, making me want to smoke for some reason. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure why, I just, I just do. Stupid reason, but. Let's go inside. What's, what's inside this Taj Mahal? What mysteries await behind the doors? This would be quite interesting. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Okay. okay. Templo del Sabre. It's just like we have some stuff going on with Socrates and Athena, Zeus, Greek gods. Okay, that's fascinating. Art of. Whoa! It's art of the Greek gods outside the Taj Mahal and inside actual. It's like Indian inspired. Mm, that's a little bit Thai-ish right there, I would think. Murals. Three levels. Well, this is quite nice inside. Wow. Look at this place. <laughs> it's quite captivating. Look at all this. All right, we have Helena Troy right here. It's a duplication it looks like to be from the museum in Rome. That's cool.
that might translate into the murder of Socrates. Uh, perhaps this painting is at the, the Met in New York. At the Louvre in Paris, I've been there. Also been to the Met. Glory. Yeah, but look at this place, man. Look at this. It's great. They have dramatic music playing in the background, something from the Museum of Madrid. Oh, Goya, okay. That's pretty cool. So again, these are just tile replications, or duplications of uh, famous artworks all around the world. Some from Greece. Do a quick circle around here. The Louvre, again in Paris. Fascinating. The National Gallery in London. Sculptural around me. Yes. Yeah, it's... Ah, the Venus, uh, Venus de Milo. The birth of Venus, actually. In Florence. The Fusi. The Fusi Gallery. Florence. Almost went there. I was actually going to go there then, as fate may have planned accordingly, that uh, that trip was cut short. So, this is very famous, the birth of Venus. Definitely need to go check out the Uffizi Gallery in Florence eventually. This is just um, surreal again. Taj Mahal with famous tile work. Duplication of famous masterpieces all around the world. Who would have thought? Louvre Museum again. Fusi Gallery. Uh, the famous sculpture of David. Again. Florence, Italy. Everybody knows this culture. Napoleon, Mr. Bonaparte. At the Palace of uh, Versailles. The museum at the Palace of Versailles, so I've seen that. Bill Napoleon. Now, he was a short guy, right? So, if this was actually a, a realistic uh, uh, depiction of Napoleon, he'd probably be half the size of the horse. Or third, you like the munchkin. Another piece of the National Gallery in London. Sculptures in Rome. Ah, good times. Last judgment. Piece from New York. Mm. Museo de Prado in Madrid. I've been there, but I don't recall that that piece per se. And the Louvre. So yeah, a lot of places. Well, I mean, a lot of uh, art from the Louvre has been reconstructed in the Taj Mahal at the Jaime Duque Park, north of Bogota. So, let's take a stroll up. Let's see what's on the second and third floor. Huge chandelier again. Massive chandelier. I think this is the biggest chandelier I've seen in my life. It's just absurdly out of this world. Alright, so now I am halfway up the Taj Mahal. It's uh, it's quite uh, the exercise routine. Let me show you how large the structure is. So there's that great great chandelier that was hanging from the top. Started from down there. 
and as you can see, you have to walk all around, all around these spiral staircases to get to uh, where I'm at right now. So I'm halfway to the top. I wonder what's at the top. And this is a cyclorama, whatever that means. Cyclorama. The only person here. But, oh, okay. Good educational. Good educational, I guess, cyclorama of the mm, history of Colombia, perhaps? Maybe? Yes, yes, that's what it looks like. So. Paintings that show the establishment and history of this wonderful country. No one here. There's theatric, thematic music just pounding, pulsating in the background. Get a cyclorama that tells the true story, or I guess maybe not the true story if this is a uh, governmental sponsored enterprise of the birth, establishment, and sovereignty of Colombia. The last painting contained within the Psychorama. I find this one to be the most beautiful. You have a man and a woman uh, both uh, in their natural state holding up holding up the flags of Colombia and um, I'm not sure what she's holding up but I like this painting a lot. All right, so we've reached the top of the Taj Mahal and we have a children's discovery lab. How cool is that? Wish I had my little nephews here. It would have been cooler. Uh, yes, so science all around. Big bugs. Big bugs. Bugs and how they affect her daily lives. So you got to La Cacarocha over there. You got some flies, some silverfish, mosquitoes, oh, I hate mosquitoes. Ticks, Ugh, nasty business. Yeah, fleas, Yeesh. Scorpions, I like those. Beetles. Get over here, right? Yeah, okay. Beetles, ladybugs, centipedes. <laughs> Who would have thunk that uh, on top of the Taj Mahal, you would have a little exhibition on bugs, but very cute. Yep, the metamorphosis from a caterpillar to a butterfly. I think I metamorphosize every day when I wake up. Some bees, honeybees. Definitely needs more metamorphosis right now, either with coffee or some Baileys, or better yet, coffee and Baileys. All right. Beetles, beetles, and more beetles. Not the John Lennon beetles. Dragonflies. That's cool. I haven't seen, haven't seen this before. Looks like it's a flying scorpion with the tail and everything like that. I wonder what that is. It is. A, it's a mosca scorpion. So it's a flying scorpion. Wow. Let's go read up on that tonight. Didn't know it existed. All right. Let's bounce. Running low on time, running low on memory, running low on battery. Just got to be efficient now. Cool. 
All right, so that was the last exhibit, I believe. And this is the top. Can't go any further, the gates are locked. Just go down.